Why are we still trying to fight a 1950s attitude? I don't know. It's not part of my life. It's, it's never been a part of my life. And I refuse to make it a part of the life of people who are younger than me. Uh, never until this moment thought it was weird. I still don't think it's weird. When you yeah. ask us that question, it, does, it didn't even like cross our minds. We've been able to develop a culture where girls are leading girls, but girls are leading boys. And our kids think that, well, they don't think about it because it's not strange to them. I think the fact that we don't promote that there's a difference between guys and girls being on the team, I think that's our biggest difference. No girls ever come on our team and thought that it was a big deal to be a part of it from a gender standpoint. Any more than we thought that that was a big deal that you we were two women starting a robotics team. I think it helps that our leaders are also girls. Like it's not like it's a bunch of guys running it and then we feel awkward. I don't think we realized at the beginning of this that we would end up being role models for female students. And if your example is a strong female leader, you're going to perpetuate that on your team too. And encouraging boys to be willing and not think it's a problem to take directions or be led by a female. Rather than having to break down a barrier, it's ensuring that that barrier is not visible to begin with. I think that we've realized there are female mentors leading this team is actually more important maybe than we thought it ever was. When people say to us, wow, it's so great that you're doing this, especially as female. And when we're saying to our kids, you can major in technology or science, even though you're a girl. When you're adding in those qualifiers, especially even though you're downplaying and devaluing the discipline, but also your skill set. I like how you guys aren't pressuring us. Like you aren't targeting us where we feel like it's an issue and going into it, we're taking a risk. I feel like if someone came to me and said, hey, listen, I need a guy on my team. So can you come like help us out? I'd be like, not really motivated just because they need me just for my my gender, I guess. And you're only asking because you're a boy, so it kind of takes mm -hmm. away from the fact that we want you because you're good at this and you can do a good job. It's we want you because you're a boy and I guess you can do the job. Like, I'd feel worse if you guys were like, we need girls, because then yeah. it's just awkward. It already has this divide. Then it kind of feels like you're only in it because you're a girl, not because you were like... Yeah, because you need like to raise the girl population. Now we're here because we want to be here. We've stopped qualifying it in that way. Boys on the team don't think it's any uh, extraordinary situation to have girls in charge of a department or two female mentors as the lead mentors on their team. Well, we're preparing kids to work together regardless of gender. I'm not on robotics because I'm a girl. I'm here because I'm good at it. I'm not here to fill a quota for girls. I'm here because I am good at it.